um, round 17 of the European Individual Championship. Um, after a day's rest, um, players have uh, had, had good fighting spirit on the seventh round. The top leaders drew and were joined by three more, leaving Motief still in the lead, uh, tailed by six others. Uh, the big news is a couple of youngsters playing very well. Uh, one of them is uh, Matiso Matioslav from Armenia. Um, he's most likely to get a full GM now. Uh, so far, with a performance rating of two six five seven, including two wins over Grandmasters. Um, that shows potential in this uh, young 13 year old he's an FM from I mean his rating is 2234 uh, I'm about to show one uh, he saved the game against uh, Nevedinich Vladislav he's a 2591 Grandmaster so this was in the 7th round the game started D4 Knight F6 uh, The 13 year old is playing white Knight F3 G6 Bishop F4 It's a total London color system uh, Bishop G7 E3 D6 H3 Black castled Bishop E2 C4 Bishop B6 uh, C4 Bishop Bishop B7 uh, Previously played uh, was Knight B to D7 Knight C3 This was Jermaine versus Lechner Bayern 2011 uh, I put these games in the, in the description for you to to have a look at this as well uh, This one ended in a win for white uh, but the game continued bishop b7 uh, material slowly sitting over play knight c3 uh, <coughs> they read Nietzsche played knight e4 uh, another game was another game uh, black played knight after d7 this was Alexia versus Bick in Warsaw 2005 this ended in a draw. Uh, that's another reference game uh, which you can follow. But this game put in at e4. Uh, a novelty by uh, the 13 year old he played knight x e4. Previously played was played was queen c2. This was Sinclair versus Drazio Prague 2007. Uh, another reference game. This one could be a knight takes. Pawn takes knight c6. And white won in um, 52 moves, but this game continued. Uh, knight takes e4, bishop e f e4, queen queen d7. Uh, another possibility was castle c5, e4 position. Uh, but uh, black continued c5. Uh, an interesting option is playing d d5. Try to trap the, the bishop on uh, on on e4. This uh, but most like h6 are playable. Uh, with uh, equal chances for both sides. So this game continues castling. On the king side, um, uh, oh, black played uh, knight c6. Another interesting alternative would have been um, e5, bishop g5, f6, bishop h4. Uh, it's an equal position. 
So the game would be knight c6. Uh, white goes for uh, for gaining space in the center with d5. The knight went to a5, attacking c4. Uh, white played knight g5, bishop f5. E4 gaining time on the bishop, gaining tempo of time <coughs> on the bishop. Bishop d7, knight f3, uh, b5. Uh, trying to undermine the the queen side. Um, by sacrificing a pawn, uh, uh, one preferable uh, alternative is knight just queen c7, rook a c1, and and uh, connect the rooks. Slow build up would have been much more preferable. So. Um, after b5, uh, the threatening old took the pawn, took the challenge, took the pawn. Uh, rook b8. Uh, and, uh, he plays uh, a very interesting uh, exchange sack. He plays b4. Uh, maintaining the pawn on b5 and. Uh, <coughs> Eliminating uh, time to get past one of the queen side. Uh, Neved, Neved Nietzsche takes the rook. Uh, white took the with the white took the rook with the with the bishop with the rook. Another alternative would have been pawn takes bishop g seven, a four queen c seven. Looks very murky, uh, but computers I evaluate this as as an equal position. But anyway, the game continued. Rook takes knight went on on b seven. Uh, play continued. A four. Another alternative would have been let's say bishop h six, rook e eight, and. Most like maybe queen c3 are possible. Uh, okay, white played a4. Uh, black took the pawn, queen takes. So white has got a pawn and a bishop for the rook. Some sacrifice. Uh, black tried to send the queens. Uh, White played queen b3, queen b2 with the threat of bishop h6. Um, and preparing e5 as well. Uh, that's uh, getting a lot of space. Uh, so definitely, he's got enough compensation for exchange sack. Black played rook fc8. Um, the queen uh, bishop retreated to d2, gaining time on the queen. The queen went back to d8. Uh, white played e5. Uh, one good alternative is, let's say, e would have been bishop h6, f6, then knight d4. The hole on c6 is what he is targeting. Um, uh, But he played e5. Uh, one good option was for uh, then uh, black played bishop e8. Better would have been to protect the the dark squares by playing let's say queen f8. Time to swap the 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 queens and uh, taking guard of the dark square weaknesses. He played bishop e8 anyway, uh, and now uh, white played bishop h6, threatening him to take the pawn or e to take the pawn on d6, and there's a mate on on uh, g7. Uh, black played knight c5, and he took the pawn and he is forced to play f6 to prevent the mate on. <coughs> on G7 
and then uh, so now white has got two pawns in the rook and the knight and the bishop for the so it's almost like equal material now uh, pawn takes queen takes bishop c4 now there's lots of threats this cover checks on the king so white went for the block the queen uh, uh, with lots of free space, uh, he centralizes his queen. Uh, he tries to uh, play rook d7, <coughs> blocking any threats on the seventh rank. Uh, white play attacking the the queen. Uh, he blocking the and the alternative with even knight e6 and. Then why do we just take the pawn on seven and still winning anyway? Because everything is falling apart on on black side. They play queen f8 and the game continued. Rook c1, uh, king h8. Uh, if bishop f7, uh, the pawn on on f6 falls. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's no. Consolidation to the uh, white black is, is you could say lost. So, he, um, now white prepares for the kill by here. Uh, but he is born on a4. Uh, black played uh, g7, and and, uh, and white plays a very unpleasant move. He plays knight a5 uh, with the full. Follow if he takes, he will take on e bishop takes e5. If uh, queen g7, uh, he loses the queen. If let's say uh, king g8, uh, there's a combination rook takes e5. If uh, if if rook takes, then there's a discovered e d6 gaining, the, you know, so. That's a no go. So he tried to play. Another it's a deflection uh, tactic. They play king g7, and knight goes into the ideal square. Knight c6. Now the knight on c5 is no way to go. So he had to take. Now the game is lost. Take queen takes, and he tried to uh, s to just complete the game, but he's already lost. He tried uh, g5. Uh, is a piece down. Uh, bishop e3, h6. Uh, then uh, white play bishop f uh, b1 with uh, threat like queen. Mm, queen c2, pawn. Uh, Bishop takes a a seven. Uh, the whole position is coming. So the thirty year old is beaten again. Two five nine one grandmaster. I uh, hope you enjoy this.